Thanks for staying with us. It's called Is There Anybody Out There? A new exhibit at a Kelowna museum is highlighting the evolution of amateur radio. The exhibit hopes to demonstrate that this type of communication is a lot more than just a hobby. Uh, that's a little five wire really. Mike Fleming is making contact with someone in the United States. He's one of dozens of amateur radio operators in Kelowna. Anybody can pick up a phone and call Europe, but we do it wirelessly. And it's not always the best conditions, but it's a challenge. And you have to know the physics of uh, signal propagation and uh, frequencies and bands and stuff, and that's what makes it interesting. For the next few months, Fleming will be spending a lot of time at the Okanagan Heritage Museum showcasing amateur radio and what it's all about. It's part of a brand new exhibit called Is There Anybody Out There? There's a lot not known about amateur radio, and this was going to be an opportunity for the not only the museum to exhibit what they have in their collections that is related to amateur radio, but for us to tell the story of, of the progression of the hobby. So I think there's some perception it's just old radios and very skilled, you know, g- older gentlemen who can do Morse code, and it certainly has not stayed there. The exhibit features the history of amateur radio and how it has evolved. In Kelowna, the Orchard City Amateur Radio Club isn't only a hobby for members, but it also assists in emergencies like the fires this past summer in West Kelowna. It's been um, common in you know hurricanes, other disaster zones, even now, where I think people think back it was probably used in disaster long ago in wartime. It's still used in that way because cell phone um, systems get overwhelmed, they get shut down or towers go down. Like in Haiti, following that country's massive earthquake. We um, can provide in those frequencies a communication form that's very reliable and can go quite far. And certain parts of the frequency are fairly local, only within line of sight, for say, and then some go from mountaintop as far as a mountaintop repeater could see. But we can also send, fre- in one area of the frequency, send signals up to the ionosphere, bounce it off, and have it come back down somewhere else in the world. The club is eager to spread its message and hopes the exhibit draws crowds. I think it's well put together. Uh, it's going to give the public uh, a good uh, idea what amateur radio is all about. Uh, it's not just people locked in their ham shack making contacts. It's actually members that are actually involved with the community. The exhibit just started and runs through until July.